Ron Krischer at Norwalk lost in the semis on a huge hole shot, his sixth of 2010. And he faces Warren Johnson, who has not won a round of racing since his win at St. Louis. Good old drag race. Warren's car's moving around a little bit on the other end, but 662 by Ron Krischer takes out Warren Johnson's 663 elapsed time. Take a look at the Lucas Oil photo finish cam by Justin Nose. Ron Krischer takes out Warren Johnson. But there seems to be some anger at the top end. We go to Gary Gerald. Here in the first round of Pro Stock Eliminations, Warren Johnson out of his car after losing to Ron Krischer, very unhappy. What's the problem, Warren, and what are you unhappy about? I'm not unhappy about losing a run. Ron beat me fair and square, but the problem is that both of us were so damn loose out there. And, you know, they treat these tracks just for the fuel cars. Hell, Ray Charles could drive one of them damn things in his current state. There's no talent required. All they have to do is just step on it. This racetrack is just flat-ass dangerous. The last probably four or 500 feet. Who do you take your case to in something like this? Well, it'll fall on deaf ears over at NHRA because all they want is fuel cars out here. Well, maybe not. As we take you back up to the starting line, it's obviously been discussed. Rick Stewart says shut them down. Now, I don't know if that's a problem there or something else, Mike. Well, we're going to have to see what happens, but uh, yeah, they're obviously discussing what happened with the racetrack there. Warren obviously upset, but we did see some cars get very loose on the other end. This isn't the first time we've seen this issue with the Pro Stock contingent. Hey, Pro Stock, they're coming out of the lanes, and we are going to go to another round of Nitro. What's going on with Pro Stock? Because Top Fuel is coming up next. Will they come back? 